Hello, I'm Steve Miller, a physician and chief clinical officer at Cigna. This has been a long, cold winter, but brighter days are ahead. And I'm not just talking about spring and the end of daylight savings, but days that resemble more of what we knew before the COVID-19 pandemic hit a year ago. There's no mistaking that much work remains ahead of us, but I believe that we are on the right track and have reason to hope. Like the final lap in any race, the last stretch may feel like the hardest. So I wanna provide a few updates and insights that may help stoke our endurance for what's ahead. Today, the massive rollout of COVID-19 vaccinations continues across all the US states and territories. Tens of millions of people have been vaccinated to date, and the Biden administration has set a goal to vaccinate more than 100 million people in the first 100 days. It's possible that we exceed this goal by the end of April, especially with new vaccine approvals and accelerate manufacturing and distribution strategies taking shape. Specifically, I believe that the recent approval of J&J's vaccine and the Novavax candidate will be a shot in the arm for our overall vaccine rollout. Looking at J&J's candidate, its clinical trial showed that a single dose of its vaccine was 72% effective in preventing COVID-19 infections in U.S. patients. It's important to interpret these results through the context that the vaccine was 85% effective in protecting patients from severe infections and no trial participants required hospitalization or died. These are phenomenal results, especially when you consider the majority of trial participants were located in South Africa and Latin America where different variants of the coronavirus are circulating that would affect efficacy. The J&J vaccine requires only one dose and can be stored in a standard refrigerator for several months, which will help accelerate local vaccination efforts. This is especially true for rural communities and others where it's difficult for eligible patients to easily locate and get to vaccination sites. Also on the horizon, Novavax candidate recently finished its UK clinical trials and has fully enrolled its US trial. The manufacturer is looking to go to the FDA in the next few months for approval. The U.S. government has purchased 100 million doses of both the Novavax and J&J vaccines. Novavax has recently committed 1.1 billion doses for global distribution. If approved, these vaccines have the potential to help address current global demand and support our journey towards herd immunity in a big way. The federal government is taking steps to improve its work with states and retail pharmacies to accelerate distribution of the vaccine, but it's not a perfect process. The best thing we can do in the meantime is to arm ourselves with information and encourage others to do the same. At this time, we are still expecting that the vaccines will be distributed through local governments, health centers, and pharmacies. Employers will have access at a later date. Right now, it's important to begin to familiarize yourself with your state and your local community's vaccine rollout system and be your best advocate. How do you do that? Learn how your state and local government are managing distribution. Make calls to your health department, hospital system, and eligible pharmacies. Ask questions about eligibility requirements and how to make an appointment if needed. Remember, the best vaccine is the one that you get. Encourage your friends and family to make a plan and remain patient and persistent. At Cigna, our mission is making healthcare more affordable, simple, and predictable. We're doing everything we can to achieve that in this situation. We wanna make it simple. As we move through the initial vaccine phases, we must identify and inform individuals when it's their turn to be vaccinated. We're continuing to help innovate to help make the system predictable by helping to create opportunities for education and guidance, to certify and share vaccination records, and to track any long-term side effects. We're innovating to help make that predictable. And as I've said before, by ensuring vaccines are available to people at no out-of-pocket cost, we will help make it affordable. Brighter days are ahead but we must maintain momentum and practice continued vigilance to reap the benefit. 
Right now, the emergence of new, more transmittable variants remains a threat to further progress in our already fragile healthcare system. Even once vaccines become more widely available, and even after you are vaccinated, it's important to continue to follow established proven public health safety precautions. Wear a mask, maintain social distance from others, and avoid large gatherings. These efforts are key to protect each other and support steps towards herd immunity. We're in this together and no one is safe until we're all safe. Thank you.